Always boundlessly loving and supportive, our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai set aside time from her solitary meditation retreat to talk with Supreme Master Television staff via telephone on Monday, March 30th, 2020. Master graciously answered questions, including those about her experiences with our precious animal co-inhabitants. Even last night, I got up and saw two small spiders came inside because the big spider cannot come in anymore. I blocked some of the holes or the big spider, I guess, cannot squeeze in. So they sent, sent a smaller spider. Two of them came in. I said, hey, what are you doing here? Is there some more news or something? They said, no, we just want to weave a net of protection for you. My God. Oh. My heart just melt, you know. I said, no, you don't have to do anything for me. Please, you're so small, just protect yourself. Uh, but they just did it. Actually, it might help, just like some people. You remember some Indian tradition of some other ancient race of people. They weave some web-like net, they call it a dream catcher, yeah? Yes, yes. master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it could be they learn it from the spider. No. no. When I first came to the new land, they have a place for me, uh, and uh, these are negative goals. They've been there before because there was nobody lived there for 10 something years. And so they think we invaded their, their territory, so they make trouble. So the birds came. I never saw so many birds who came at one time like that and sing so loud, so beautiful. They told me they're doing some secret. I can't tell you, but they, they are secretly doing some formula to protect me from these uh, demons. Oh, no. And the squirrel came and said, uh, they wish me well, you know. I wish me freedom, happiness, safety, and peace, yes. And the monkeys also, I asked them, why is that you are so kind? Every time you see me, you say, well wish. And they told me, because you are the worthy one. Oh, I said, wow. who told you that? They say, we know. <laughs> oh. Master, who are these uh, zealous spirits? These are the people who sold their souls to the devils oh. by some circumstances, by being coerced into doing it, yeah? The people who have bad temper sometimes are used by these zealous spirits to make them more aggravated and then go out fighting or killing and then they profit from that. And because of that soul already go on that road, he cannot return. So they became a subordinate of the devil. And after a long time, they cannot get out anymore. Even if they want to get out, they're scared. A few days ago, the spiders came and told me, be happy. I was kind of sad thinking of the world situation and the people who are sick at the moment. And they came and tell me, don't be sad. Be happy, be free, be safe. Zealous spirits return to hell, 93%. Wow. Uh, so I say thanks or help, thank God. That was on Thursday, March 26th. In the world, we have total 11,121,341 zealous ghosts. Wow. wow. That was Wednesday, March 11, yeah? Yes, wow. Till now, 151,326 repented and go to fourth level, yeah? Wow. Wow. I didn't check up to now again. The rest dragged to hell with their boss to see their boss there, the Maya, okay? The ones that are temporary in the fourth level will be cleaned, cleared, then to new land sometime later on. Yeah? Wow. Okay? Yeah. Thank you, Master. Master, at this time of crisis, people are just locked down in their houses. Does Master have any uh, words to share with the people? Oh, it's better they stay inside, just as uh, the government prescribed. Hmm? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. And I also told you guys uh, what to do if you have to go out. And you understand to protect yourself? Yes, yeah. Yes, yes master. master. Thank you, Master. General hygiene notes from Master, Supreme Master Ching Hai. These notes have more details because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Originally, these notes were for us, but Master asked us to share them with the public. Wear hat, mask, gloves, 
goggles when going out. If have, wear face shield like those used by welders or your shielded motorcycle helmet. Don't touch above your neck if it feels itchy. Scratch with a small clean stick or some similar device. Take a shower from head to toe and wash clothes with hot water after going out to public areas or shopping, etc. If possible, sanitize your gloves and spray your clothes with vinegar or medical alcohol or disinfectant before re-entering your car. Wash your hands often. Put a note, wash your hands to remind everyone. Use 100% vinegar or alcohol to wipe the surfaces that outside people touched after they left. Use UV machine to sanitize dishes or use hot water for the final rinse. Make sure to use soap, toothpaste, detergent, etc. and cleaning liquid to clean accordingly. Warm water alone is not enough. Wipe all groceries or packages that are from outside with 100% pure vinegar or medical alcohol or disinfectant. Throw away the packaging or bags or wipe them if they are to be reused. Put shopping bags under sunshine for as long as can before reusing. When buying new items from outside, first wipe using gloves with 100% vinegar, then wipe with hot water, then discard gloves, then can use in-house gloves. Keep a distance from others when outside or shopping. Keep at least a 1 to 2 meter distance. In time of personal sickness and or pandemic, meditate at home, don't go to group meditation. When a contagious disease is widespread, avoid eating raw, at least for example, tomatoes or lettuce. Rinse them with boiling water before eating. In a normal situation, use natural fruit and vegetable wash to wash veggies or soak them in salt water for at least 5 minutes, then wash them under running water and final rinse with filtered water. Do not reuse disposable gloves too many times. Throw them away when they're dirty. If not dirty, can wash them with soap under hot water before reusing. When going out, must wear a mask. Wear a good mask, a thick mask. When coming back home, have to throw the mask away. If have to reuse, wash them in hot water and detergent. When going out, have to wear gloves. Don't touch your face. Use tissue if have for sneezing or coughing, or on the inside arm, not on your hands. When coming back, wash hands or sanitize hands outside of rooms before touching your own door, public doors, kitchen, etc. Put soap outside where outside water tap or basin is. When going out, take pure vinegar spray with you. Buy some hand sanitizer and put in car. Keep extra gloves in pocket. Throw away dirty gloves used to touch things outside. If outside and suspect got touched by others, then wipe yourself, clothes with alcohol or disinfectant or pure vinegar and tissue. Wipe steering wheel clean. Remove gloves used outside before touching steering wheel and other. Because have used hand gloves to touch things outside, so throw away before touching steering wheel etc. Or at least sanitize them first. When coming back, have to take shower from hair to toe. Remove clothes and change into new clothes. Wash clothes and hang clothes in the sun to dry. Not only to rely on tumble dryers. Because the sun kills germs. Or put clothes in fresh air to dry. Go out into the fresh air or sunshine one or more times per day. Can do some exercise like push-ups, aerobics or rope jumping. No need equipment and is quick. One time a day. Go cleaning outside environment for exercise and fresh air. Outside shoes, keep outside of room and put in the sun. Don't bring them inside. Better use slippers inside house. Wash them as often as clothes. This is not a complete guidance. You have to handle according to the situation and seek medical help if needed. This is a physical thing, so we have to use a physical means. Yeah, the poor people, they, they feel very scared right now. But this is just one of the signs of the warning, but people just don't listen. Huh? I think the government and the religious leader have to take the more strong leading road, have to take more dramatic measure, you know? I tell people to... Absolutely, Master, yes. To just return to original... A loving nature, no, no more meat eating, no more massacring, you know, the innocent and the helpless, no more torturing them like that. Fatal epidemics, pandemics originally transmitted by eating animals, HIV, AIDS, transmitted by chimpanzees, variant Kurzfeldt-Jakob disease or mad cow disease, transmitted by cows, H5N1 avian or bird flu, transmitted by chickens, geese, SARS, severe acute respiratory syndrome, transmitted by civets. H1N1 swine flu or pigs disease, transmitted by pigs. MERS, 
Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, transmitted by camels. Ebola, transmitted by bats. COVID-19, transmitted from bats to pangolins. All these diseases are transmitted from animals to humans. Our caring master spoke about the benevolent beings in the form of trees and animals who sacrifice themselves voluntarily for humanity. Recently, uh, many forest fires and billions of animals die. They did that uh, voluntarily, oh, wow. just to sacrifice for humans, so that we have time, more time to wake up. I have been pleading with them, but I did not think they would sacrifice this way. What I mean is that uh, don't revenge on humans. Protect humans because they are erring. They are poisoned by all kind of habits and the devil's influence. That's why I'm pleading with the nature, please be lenient. Protect the humans. But I did not think that they would protect humans this way by sacrificing themselves. By billions, trees and animals, they, they just did that. Otherwise, there will be more numbers of humans die. So instead of humans die or destroyed, the animals and the trees and the mountains and other beings, they sacrifice instead. If they sacrifice, of course it helps, but if we force them to die or kill them for sacrifice, that's different, that's no good. That should just make us more karma, more heavy karma. With deep sorrow and appreciation for the countless noble beings who voluntarily sacrificed their lives for us humans, we thank Beloved Master for revealing these moving truths and stories about them. May our world soon awaken and recognize the amazing souls with whom we are honored to share this planet. Above all, we join our great co-inhabitants in praying for Master's freedom, happiness, safety, and peace in God's love. For the full broadcast of this conference with Supreme Master Ching Hai, please tune in to Between Master and Disciples in the next few days.